The true plans of Doctor Doom revealed. Now Doom's ultimate plan is that he wants to make the perfect society, but there's multiple phases in that plan for that plan to become reality, and I'm going to be saying his ultimate plan at the end of the video, so let's get straight into it. Phase one of Doctor Doom's plan is to get the power of Pandora's box. He wants the power of Pandora's box because obviously it will enhance his abilities, make him a lot stronger, and he needs to be the maximum strength he possibly can be to achieve his ultimate goal of making the perfect society. Now, after he gets the power of Pandora's box, making him more powerful, even more powerful than he already is, he then needs to rift in his homeworld of Ladveria onto the island. Phase 2 of Doctor Doom's plan. Recruit villains. He goes around after he's rifting in POIs from his homeworld, even POIs from the other parts of the Marvel Universe, like the Raft, so he can recruit villains like Emma Frost, Mysterio, Meow's Tooth, and Chaos Agent to join his army of villains to rage war against the heroes of the Fortnite Island. But there are actually some people in his path that he needs to eliminate. That he eliminates with ease. Magneto, Moon Knight, Silver Surfer, Galactus, Thanos, Doctor Strange, all of them fall to doom. Even Iron Man gets injured and even he even takes out four, or at least it looks like. And even, yes, his arch nemesis, Reed Richards, gets defeated. Not dead, he's actually alive, but I can't say the rest for some of the Fantastic Four members, like the Thing, who's literally become Doom's throne, which is just dark as hell, oh my god. Um, Human Torch's heart is literally the fireplace, is, is, the, is what's being used to fuel the fireplace of Doom's fireplace, which is just crazy. Um, and Sue Storm looks like she could still be alive, she's being held in like a container, but it's like, She's invisible, which means she's probably still alive if, she's, if her abilities are still working. Phase 3 of Doctor Doom's plan. Now, when he took the power of Pandora's box, it kind of broke off pits of his armor. His armor is not... His armor was not strong enough to withstand the power of Pandora's box, so now he needs to create new armor that's better appropriate for handling the box's power, using even parts of Pandora's box itself to forge this brand new armor. And he also needs to build up and create his army and gather forces to become Doom Henchman or Doom Boss. So he basically implements a Doom Island that spawns into the game. That's how, the, how it happens. Doom Island will spawn into the game. And that's Doom recruiting people, the best of the best. Only one person can get the Doom Bot, can become Doom each time from the island. When you're becoming Doom in Doom Island, you're becoming a Doom Bot. So each time the island spawns in, it's Doom putting the island in see if anyone's worthy of becoming a Doom bot. And that one person who gets Doom in a game is the person who's worthy of becoming Doom bot. And each game, he's, it starts to, you know, as it started to increase over the time during the season, that was him increasing the chance of it spawning to become, to get more people to become Doom bots, to gather up the army of Doom bots. And then the ones who aren't as worthy, but still worthy of joining him, become Doom henchmen. And he basically puts chips inside their head to control them. Same with the Doom bots, the people who become Doom bots. Phase 4 of Doctor Doom's plan. Complete the armor. His armor's not actually complete. He needs artifacts, a few arcane artifacts to complete his armor, which he's found from dig sites all over the map, but the Avengers obviously don't want, it, don't want him to do that, so they obviously fight him. It's a heated battle, but Doom completes the armor with the artifacts. That's actually the story behind the Day of Doom LTM. It's us completing Doctor Doom's armor. And also with this phase, it's the completion of Doctor Doom's army. He's gathered his forces. Phase 5. Doom is heading to the island to prepare for battle. And his army are on the island, gathered and ready. Doom is coming to Fortnite. Phase 6 of Doom's plan. The mini live event that we're leading up to on Saturday, October 5th at 2pm Eastern is Phase 5. In this mini live event... Doom and his army will fight Hope, Hope and the heroes will try and use Rift Beacons. They will actually be successful in some parts, actually destroying Doom's 
tower that he's forged, that tower will be destroyed. But Doom will also fight back and he will actually destroy the Rift Beacons or damage them, sending them flying across the Fournet Island into certain POIs at Grand Glacier, Restored Reels, and even Brawler's Battleground. And these Rift Beacons will accidentally summon Pumpkin Reality, the Pumpkin Reality to these three POIs, having the Pumpkin Reality take over these three POIs, and that will be what the events of Fort Nightmares. Hope and Doom will actually get a bit damaged in this event. Hope will actually get a few hits on Doom, getting a few scratch, like a scratch in his eye, resulting with, you know, some damage to Doom. But Hope will be a bit less fortunate, and she will actually lose an arm because of Doom. And then Hope and the, her Avengers army will actually retreat. They have lost the first battle. Doom, after that, will then expose the Zero Point and use it for his ultimate goal. And his ultimate goal is about to be explained. Doom's plan, Phase 7. Doom wants to use the Zero Point to basically destroy the entire Omniverse and recreate it in his own image and rule over the entire Omniverse and basically do what Geno was never able to do by ruling over the Omniverse even though Geno did that he never perfected every reality Doom will be able to do that Doom will accomplish what Geno never could finally becoming the king and protector of the Omniverse